Hello guys, today we're presenting the 10 paintings of Juan Luna. We choose Juan Luna because he is one of the most famous painters here in the Philippines. And he won a lot of awards here and across the nation because of his paintings. And it's the 10 paintings of Juan Luna that we're presenting. Spolarium. Spolarium is one of the most famous paintings of Juan Luna here in the Philippines because it won a lot of awards in Spain and here in the Philippines. And the meaning of Spolarium are the preparation of circles where two gladiators were dragged up because they're dead, because they're fighting for their lives, and their garments and weapons were stripped. For me, Spolarium is symbolized the Spanish colonization and the Filipino revolutionary because the two countries fighting for their freedom, beliefs, and rights for this country. And just like the gladiators, they are fighting for their lives until they die. Minobio painting. One Luna dedicated the Minobio painting to her wife and it shows the characteristic of a lady, the banal, sweet rosiness, and being a harmful or fragile of a lady. For me, the lady in Minobio painting was Pasparda de Tabera, the wife of Juan Luna, and it showed in this painting that the lady in the Philippines was fragile and harmful, but still liberated and independent for themselves that they can fight for themselves and have their own dictions and beliefs. Las Damas Romance Aside from the beautiful and aesthetically pleasing painting itself, I noticed that the painting does not seem relevant at the first glance, but as you interpret it, you could see that there's a deep meaning within the picture that is hard to interpret. But all I could say is that I believe this painting symbolizes leisure and restfulness after chaos. Because as you can see, the two maidens seems to be resting while playing with the dogs and surroundings is a little messy which means something must have happened before so. The Battle of Lepanto I believe that this painting was made to portray the national pride of Spaniards in which showcased the awakening of the people to fight against political oppression and battle for humanity. This picture depicts Spanish Catholicism and national pride because the Spanish had a key role in the victory at Lepanto. It also celebrates Spanish nationalism because the battle was won by the Catholics. This also symbolizes our moral and social and political life and the prejudices that happened back then. First, here is a short background of the painting España y Filipinas. It is a series of old wood painting by Filipino painter, illustrado, and revolutionary activist Juan Luna. It is an allegorical depiction of two women together, one a representation of Spain and on the other the Philippines. Although an oil canvas was a masterpiece that projected a close bond between the Philippines and Spain through feminine figures, it is a propaganda painting that revealed the true hope and desire of the Filipino propagandists during the 19th century. Assimilation with Spain, reform, equality, modernization, and economical improvement. The painting itself is beautiful and nostalgic. As a person who is not fond of art, I personally loved it and even more because of the meaning behind it. Like what I've said in the description, the painting is revolutionary. We cannot deny the bond between the Philippines and the Spain as they colonized our country for 333 years that causes many Filipino sufferings. It shows how Spaniards have taken a chance over the years with their flowery words and used it as their weapon to take our land and be a slave in our own country. The Parisian life, also known as the Interview de Café, which literally means beside a cafe, is an 1892 Olin Canvas Impressionist painting. His own personal Parisian life was a total of 8 years. This period in Luna's career in painting is known as the post-academic or the Parisian period. A time when his style moved away from having dark colors of academic palette and became increasingly lighter in mood and color. According to my research, the painting can be interpreted in three ways, which is fascinating. A simple painting to others but has a deeper meaning to a person who is a fan of arts and the meaning behind it. 
The Parisian life does not solely embody the intangible ideas of Filipino's national consciousness, but also Luna's talent as an artist. The Parisian life painting proves that Luna is an indefatigable painter for women. Tampuhan, Mini Supling is an 1895 all-on-canvas impressions painting by Filipino painter and revolutionary activist Juan Luna. It depicts a Filipino man and a Filipino woman having a lover's quarrel. The painting itself still portrays a lover's quarrel even of the last generation, with the same reason, which is misunderstanding. They say it is called sometimes the silent treatment. In my own understanding of the painting, it seems like they were trying to cool down their emotions by not talking to each other and looking in other directions as if they were contemplating on what to do with their relationship. On the other hand, the painting is good and beautiful because of the small details and meaning behind it. The Blood Compact, Juan Luna's masterpiece, was created during his four-year pension from Ayun Simienzo de Manila. The painting won first prize in the Bois Paris and the Saint of Louis expansion in the United States in 1904. Also, it is currently displayed at Malacaan Palace. It was the one of Luna's final artwork and one of the three that he donated to the Spanish government. According to my research, the blood of Compact symbolized the shirt of destiny of Spain. The Odalis was previously in the collection of the national hero Jose Rizal. According to my understanding, he concluded that the blood compact should be seen as a pictorial expression of the propaganda, which also fought the legal equality between Spaniards and the Filipino, rather than the representation of independence. Odalis is well-known painting by award-winning Filipino painter and the revolutionary activist Juan Luna, completed in 1885. Philippines has equal alliance of the same social status while erasing the reality of the Spanish of Exquesta violence and the racial prejudice against Native. Also, it is the one of painting that helped Luna become an officially accepted artist at the Salon de Paris because it proves his draftsmanship. The Death of Cleopatra, an 1881 oil painting by Juan Luna, is the one of only three works by Filipino artists on permanent display at Madrid Museo del Prado. The painting was completed during Luna's stay in Rome and earned him a silver medal at his first art show. As the one who appreciates arts, I like it even more because of the meaning of painting of Cleopatra's death. The brushwork, the jewel-like palette are combined with array and eloquent gestures and expressions.